So question 73, leak code, set matrix zeros. So given an m by n integer matrix matrix, if an element is zero, set its entire row and column to zeros. You must do this in place. So it's a pretty self-explanatory question. We just need to set the rows to zeros and the columns to zeros where we have a zero. And we must do this in place. So initially you may just think to loop through this entire matrix and when you find a zero, update its row and columns. So let's try that now. So if we go across, we find no zeros. When we get to this point, we find a zero. So let's say we update its row and update its column. Then we carry on. Oh, we've got a zero here. Let's update the column. Then we move along. We find this one, we update the row. And that is not going to be the right answer, right? So as you can see, that would error out. So a solution to this, by doing it in place, what we could do is we could store the position of the row and the position of the column of this zero in an auxiliary data structure. So we could store it in an array, right? So we could call it zero position, and then we could store it as one, one. So every position we find within this matrix that is equal to zero, we store its row and column within this array. Okay, so we haven't mutated it. And then once we've done that, we can loop through zero positions so there'll be multiple in here if there's multiple zeros within the matrix we can loop through this and then we can just update the rows and columns that way that way we won't be mutating the array and then searching for further zeros we've already found the zeros so now all we need to do is we need to update the rows and columns so we're going to loop through the rows so we're going to loop through here here and here and where row is equal to one we're just going to update all values within it and then we'll do the same for columns loop through that and then where columns is equal to one we're just going to update all the values there and that will give us the result we want so time complexity for this algorithm is o m times n because we're going to be looping through at maximum say three times we're going to be looping through the matrix entirely once to begin with to find all the zeros or to find the positions of all the zeros and then we're going to be looping through the rows and the columns afterwards to update the matrix with zeros and we're going to do that all in place so space complexity is o n plus m because we're going to be storing positions of zeros within the zero position array and in the worst case scenario all of these values could be zero so our initial kind of zeros position array would have each position within there so it's going to be o n plus m so let's code this out so let's declare zero position as an array let's loop through the matrix and find all the zeros So we're looping through the entire matrix here. If the matrix at ij is equal to zero, then we can push into zero's position. The position of the row and the position of the column. Once we found all the positions, we can then loop through zero positions. extract the row and column and then we can loop through the rows so i is less than matrix dot length i plus plus we can update where the column is equal to one because here we know for a fact that zero index here the row and column is going to be set to one so here it's going to be one one so we're going to be looping through the matrix rows and where it column is equal to one we're going to update that to zero and then we're going to do the same for the columns so that i equals zero i is less than matrix at zero dot length i plus plus and then we have matrix row i is equal to zero so where the row is equal to one and then we're looping through the columns we'll update that to zero Okay, so that's looking good. Let's run it. Let's submit it. And there you have it. 